Hey, Board Game Geek Designer Forum. Uh, my name is Ted, and I just wanted to give a really quick intro to this Dungeon Crawler card game that I've been working on. So this game plays out on a, on a play mat, uh, and it, it, it's a, each, each hero has a mini and a deck of cards. Um, each, uh, each hero has a, a base class that start out with some stats and some special abilities, um, but the things that you're going to be doing turn by turn are uh, going to be according to the cards that you draw. And each, uh, each character is going to have a pre-constructed deck of cards. Um, I'm hoping that part of the fun is going to be in taking from that pool of available cards and making the, you know, the, the deck of your dreams, um, using, using different kinds of equipment, different kinds of attacks and abilities, and uh, really putting together something interesting and something unique for your character. So essentially you've got a deck of 50 cards and that's going to determine um, your abilities. And as you take damage, you're going to be taking cards off the top of your deck and putting them into a burn pile, uh, which you do not have access to anymore for those cards. So you've got a normal discard pile and you've got a burn pile. When you play your cards uh, from your hand, you know if it's an attack card or a move card or a, uh, a, a one-use item like this healing potion, um, you're going to place the cards in your discard pile, but as you're taking damage, or, or you know, perhaps some special card effects, uh, maybe a, a really uh, a spectacular attack card is going to force you to burn a couple of cards, they're going to go in your burn pile, and that represents the damage you've taken. And when you um, run out of cards in your deck, and you have cards left in your discard pile, you're going to shuffle everything back into your deck, and that's going to be an opportunity to level up, uh, spend your experience points. So... But the cards in your burn pile, eh, you're going to have to get back in other ways, either through healing or through uh, some special abilities. Like the warrior's got uh, an ability that lets him get some cards back from his burn pile once, it, uh, once per game. Okay, so how a turn would work is that at the beginning of your turn, everybody's going to refresh uh, back up to five cards, and they're going to start taking actions one at a time. Uh, you know, first player takes an action, next player takes an action, uh, using cards or using abilities. And then at the end, they're going to decide all together that, you know, the heroes are done taking actions, they've used all the cards they, they want to, and they're ready for the, uh, the DM player to move the enemies and uh, do so. Uh, the enemies are going to take their movements, do their attacks, and then it's back to the heroes again, where they refresh, get all new cards in their hand, and start going again. So, for example, they could, the heroes could have uh, move, move actions, um, uh, attack actions, uh, spell actions for some of the other classes, maybe one-time use items like this healing potion here. And as they're playing them, they're going to be discarding them to their discard pile. And uh, or if they've got uh, equipment cards in their hand, they're going to be uh, maybe playing them into their uh, equipment area. Maybe replacing some of the equipment they've got here with better cards that they've drawn uh, from their deck. Uh, that they couldn't afford at the beginning of the game. And on the enemy's turn, the DM player is going to be activating each of these enemies in turn and uh, rolling an action die for them. And depending on the result of that action, uh, it's going to determine the the um, the attack or the uh, the activity of that uh, that creature. So, on for example, on the Goblin Squeaker. Um, rolling a 1 to 3, they're going to make a hack attack. 4 to 5, they're going to do a slash attack. And on a 6, they're going to run and try to summon some help. Uh, they got a plus 1 dodge while they're doing that. And these uh, Orc Brutes, uh, they do a clumsy attack on a 1 to 2. Uh, a cunning attack on a 3 to 4. Uh, it has a plus 2 to hit, does a bit more damage. Or on a 5 to 6, they're going to uh, take a hit point damage themselves. And they're going to do the Blood Rage attack, which does quite a bit more damage. And... Uh, a little bit of armor penetration, so a little scarier. Uh, 